Hello, this is DJ Graz 007 The Force. I've decided this time to add some commentary to uh, a game of base command. So today I'll be dealing with this daily siege sex sextant of villains. Now, as you can see, these tie interceptors have a little lightning bolt symbol, <coughs> which means fury. Uh, which makes them very hard to take out. So if you try to attack them directly with an X-Wing like that, as you can see, you're going to lose them. So unfortunately, um, the only ones that can really deal with them are the heroes. Unfortunately, Princess Leia. Who, as usual, dishes out the pain. Unfortunately, with Han, there's not much I can do with him. And... Might actually have to use this car, even though I can't really use it. But so it gives me another one. When you do that, um, and now I can poison these and start to soften them up. And that's pretty much the end of that. See, I've softened him up, so now Han can take him out. Unfortunately, as first strike by default. Uh, the A wings don't do that much damage, so what we're going to have to do is. Yeah, so even if I take him out. Um, Okay, what we're going to have to do is that's probably the best option because they've still got full strength. Those two TIE Fighters are going to lose another two health when they move forward. So... And the Emperor's already in trouble. I mean, if I could have hit him with the base cannon, that'd be the end of that, so... However... What I might do is that one for now. That now causes a problem because if I've got shields down, I'm not accruing as many points up here as I'd like, and on top of that. I'm a little bit exposed, but it's not the end of the world because I may be able to get rid of this one. Right, I'm going to have to bite the bullet here, so I'm going to have to do this. And that will get rid of all their special power-ups, which makes them a lot more vulnerable. So as you can see, now this guy is gone. The Emperor is a nightmare. We'll get rid of him. my base cannon, get rid of this pest, and get rid of this pest. So I'm trying to get three stars, if I wasn't going for three stars and just trying to complete this I'd be doing it differently but we always play to so try to get three stars. Now I'm hoping I get a health sh uh, shield power up because I haven't had one of those yet and I really need it right now and unfortunately I didn't get it. So uh, not good. And that hurt too because I needed that to attack him. Okay, could have a problem here. A big problem. 
problem. So what I'm going to have to do is I've got a big problem. So, one of these are going to be destroyed, but I don't know which one. I'm hoping it's him. Um. And now it gives me the base shot that I needed earlier. So all is not over yet, but not good. Okay. Now I've made an error. Beware of that. Make sure you t sort all your cards out before you apply something, because even just applying a shield, that's it, it's too late. Okay, so we're going to get rid of... any damage to that whatsoever. So what we're going to have to do is... He'll bounce off the shield and die. He'll bounce off the shield but unfortunately he's going to recover. So... That actually is not too bad. So I can do this. Yeah, his health would recover. I left it like that but I've left three shots in the base. So he's finished comes back, but at least I don't have to worry about him again, and that's that, but at least now with that around me, no one could do any damage on the next turn, as you can see, bring a base shield down but nothing happens, now this is a civil war card, which makes two people the same set to fight each other, as you can see, that really helps. Now, in all honesty, I think Vader, Vader's going to have to go. You do the job, that's one of the reasons why I did that, because now in range. Right, so Luke will get him without one, so I have to take a risk here and hope that the estimate's correct. And that's not quite the card I wanted, but that's the card you use to take out an AT-AT, even if it's got a shield, so on most of the maps that card's essential. Obviously on this one I'll just swap it straight away. Finally, we can get him. And he should be cactus now because he'll bounce off the shield and lose two health. On the other hand, he's withdrawn, so oh wow, two of them. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a risk because I need more shots in my base cannon, so... Actually, I'll do a reinforcement first, so just to get new cards. It's really going to make much of a difference, but that means one extra card I'll get now. Um, and hopefully, I don't do too much damage. Right, so it's reduced agility on these, but that doesn't really matter. Well, that's just fantastic. All right, there you go. So what you're trying to do is hold off your enemies until you can do something to them like that. Um, you know, the beauty of Chewbacca is it also pushes the enemies back, but as there's one left, it doesn't really matter. Um, so take him out. Unfortunately, I got away with it, and I still got three stars. So, 
card deck, you need to have cards that inflict damage on the enemies, remove their perks, and most importantly of all, you must have all the heroes and um, in your card deck because a lot of those heroes then give you other cards or other power-ups so you play one hero you end up getting two or three opportunities to do damage to the enemy so um, anyway I hope that was helpful uh, if you have any questions uh, please feel free to message me and uh, thanks for watching